Uh, so this is the comment that we're focusing on that was left on this video, and I am going to read it as it is, because although the language used is quite appalling, um, and I think there's no need for it at all, um, it does help convey the force with the which this guy touts this opinion, and I believe that that is important. So if you don't want to hear it, uh, it is going to be rude. Uh, turn the stream off for two minutes while I can eat through this, okay? And, um. and also, folks, if you, after this, if you go hunting to that video and find this comment, this is not a cue for you, everybody, to go out and a witch no. hunt this one particular guy. No, no it's not. Share yeah, your opinion. This whole thing is to keep the frickin' respect. Speaking of which, mm. I need to speak to one of our clan members later today. True. Hey, it's, I mean, it's really related to the, 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 the name of the video, which was talking about respect, and this comment is definitely not what respect is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and it's, it's an opinion that he has that all that is shared in a class and insensitive way and i would have much preferred it if he'd shared it in a more mature manner without a foul language but i do think the points raised um could spark some good conversation uh which is basically what the entire video was about it's why i shared it it's because the uh, the subject matter is one that a lot of people feel very strongly about so this is the comment <clears throat> respect seriously you fuckers were cherry picking his comments. That was very lame of you. Seal Clubbers cunts. And you have the audacity to be offended. Are you for real? And the other idiot saying that QB does not have a clue of what he was talking about. He is far more knowledgeable than many of you. At least he puts the time in to inform us of the different versions of the tank. But you fuckers just criticize QB. Yes, it does make you a bad person. So you think you will play fair against a new player with his shitty setup and trying to enjoy the game when he has assholes like you with your five skill clue bashing the game in low tiers, you fucking piece of shit? What, you can't be good at higher tiers so you have to go down to lower tiers just to be better than the rest? That is not having fun. That's the pure definition of seal clubbing. Shame on you, idiot. And notice he's totally missed the whole point of our whole conversation there. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the fact, can I just say, I love the fact that that's the edited version of the comment. Like, at the bottom it says, four hours ago, in brackets, edited. <laughs> like, what's the unedited version? Jesus. Okay, so, right, I figured we would go through, um, basically, oh, tell you what. Also, in recognition of this fantastic, epic comment, we're going to dive into some... Uh, integral, fun, enjoyable gameplay uh, together, which I don't know, we're, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, a Panzer II Ge Wow. Just <laughs> Jason says, when does the rude part start? <laughs> that seems like a great <laughs> idea, Tennis. Why not? Yay! Okay, so while we uh, play Panzer II J's and Panzer, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Panzer one C's, uh, I'm not gonna, with you. Yeah. Why gonna... I'm not playing? <laughs> Oh, uh, because Ian's here. So I, I thought you were Fuck Ian. Ian. He came after me. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We could uh, swap Ian out if he doesn't mind. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, let, let's let's look at this. You guys were cherry picking his comments. Uh, from my point of view, what I'd say to that is the conversation was literally started based on Tanis saying this particular comment offended me. That yeah. that is literally well, that's the comment we Tannis, used to carry pick to that comment. Yeah, like Tannis said, okay, this offended me. Tannis is not just going to go, okay, this is the video, this is the entirety of what he said, and this is the bit that offended me. No, you're going to say this bit offended me. This is why, and we used it to spark the conversation. Cherry picking that is true, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, seal clubbing. You have the audacity to be offended. Um, what are your opinions on that one, guys? Uh, in fact, my opinion is very simple. Quickie mm. Baby, in his video, was pretending that the the, the 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 main the main thing that makes what a great game is that you can you can play a million way, million different way in this game. The the variety of the games 
of the gameplay of the of the players yeah, I that, agree makes, with that. that makes the fun that makes the fun of this game and and what what he did with this with this particular particular comments was the exact opposite of what he was pretending to say if you and like diversity in this game just mm. accept silk clubbers it's a part of the game it's a sure. it's a way of playing it's 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 another way of playing it mm -hmm. there's no good or bad way of playing that's just way of well, I mean, having fun in the game that's it, all it is interesting because i mean like like i said there's there's no absolute truth of what is good and bad for the game uh good and bad in terms of like your morality right everyone sees it, uh, exactly. everything differently um, if you want to discuss whether seal clubbers or people who play a lot of low tiers are bad for the game and bad for new players, that's a completely different discussion, and that has a lot more validity and grounds, and that conversation gets a lot more of my respect, because obviously me yelling about in a Panzer 2J with TARDIS and, and fucking Ian shoving me up the ass is not going to make life good for a lot of low tier players on the enemy team. I absolutely agree with that, right? Yeah. But as far as it being like morally wrong, I, I don't think you have ground to stand on there because everyone has a right to play the game in a way that is enjoyable for them and doesn't break the rules of the game, right? And seal coming falls within those, those right. It may be bad for the game and bad for low tiers, but it's not morally... You're not morally culpable for doing something wrong by doing it. I, I you think know, that's you know, you the know line. Yeah. You know what? I got I got an idea. Often often we, 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 we speak about uh, the new players or, or that should not be allowed to buy tier 8 premiums until a certain amount of experience. You know? <laughs> yeah. If... if, if if Wargaming was going on this way, they could also go in on the other way, on the opposite way, saying, if you have played more than 40,000 battles, you're not allowed to play tier 4 and tier, tier four and, and less yeah. anymore. And I, I, that's, I would... that's, that's, that could be a way of um, um, revoking uh, mm -hmm. uh, seal clubbing. So if Wargaming does not this, it's because it's a part of the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. Come on. Can, can I get a word and, in? And if I like, should, please. go, mm -hmm. people. Please. Yeah, you're making me sick here. You're driving around in a what? What tier is this Panzer 2J? <laughs> it's a tier three. <laughs> tier three fucking tank <laughs> that Wargaming put out. Yep. But yet you're not supposed. You know, like, and you're talking about morality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, if you can't put together what I'm trying to say... <laughs> uh, you're saying that it's morally wrong. It is morally reprehensible for me to buy a tank and play it. No, I'm not. I'm saying that if it's such a big frickin' deal, and if it's such a bad moral thing, then look at Wargaming themselves. They're frricking doing mm. it by providing the means. Yeah, true. And they, 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 they did it in the this first place. This is a seal clubber of seal clubbing tanks it of is. all kinds. This is the... I mean, it literally... We literally, like, pay to win on the front of this tank. Like, you know, like, and so, yet, 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 we've got people, you know, but, oh, wait, hang on, you're gonna, if, you, if you're actually the person that's gonna buy this, and even if you're somebody that sees it, oh, it's a nice, big, it's all this gold, and you buy it, you get the tank, and you really don't have that much of a clue about working, because you're new, well, huh, congratulations, you just become a seal clubber because you bought this freaking thing! Yeah, because, I mean, because new players will, will, will never buy a tier 3 for 100 euros. They, they, they'll yeah. prefer buy, buy two tier 8 for... 50, 1500 urchin rate. If they are new to the game that, and they want to spend money in the game, they won't spend money, they won't spend a lot of money in a tier 3 because they don't know, they don't know the, the game mechanic. So, so the fact that this tank is so, so priceless, so, no, that's not the, 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 the um, uh, Expensive? Expensive, oh, yes. Oh, no! No! Oh, guys, is... I think I'm gonna get hit. No! <laughs> hey, I bounced his heat! His AP! Yay! Alright, come the on fact, then. The, the, the fact that this tank is so 
expensive, <laughs> but it is a crew of Kick his ass, Ian! <laughs> Hang on a sec, Dan. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I got an end of my. I got. I can shoot through your Ian track. Ian style. <laughs> Gave you a shield. Don't worry. <laughs> Good work, Ian. <laughs> Ian comes over the ridge. Don't worry, Stephen. I'll protect that that, that vulnerable Panzer uh, UJ. I he, that, armor. that guy could have killed me actually with that IP. He has the pen. Anyways, right, go ahead, Tannis. About yeah, it's so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. If this tank is so expensive, it's because. Wargame, that's the proof that Wargaming promotes it clubbing in, in oh, yeah. a certain way. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, that's, that's my point. Wargaming's relationship with game balancing has always been uh, somewhat questionable, even more so in the current meta of the game. Um, I mean, this is the bit that worries me. I, I mean, there's a comment here, you've cause just criticized QB. Uh... Uh, I like you for what I like these videos in your general. Heads out of oh. your and, ass. Steve, and, and Steve in this video was defending QB for at least two minutes. Yeah, I I, I believe my comment literally was um, I have never seen anything from QB that led me to believe he was anything other than a genuinely nice and honest person. I believe that's why I said something along those lines. Um, yeah, that's it. And we brought up examples of um, things that he's done in the game that were questionable, that were, in my that opinion, they're, they're bad. Video proof! Video proof to the mm. one I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, and the thing is, that's not me getting on and bashing QB. I'm, I'm <laughs> not going to hold it against him and judge him by that solely. That was in the entire point of my thing saying I don't judge people by word of mouth or by what people have told me. I need to see it for myself to make a judgment, and I haven't. I, and people can do the exact same thing to me. There are things that I have done in the game that have cost people around me games and credits and XP because I have done something that was fun for me. Right, that was selfish, and that I consider low points for me. They're, they're things that I look back on and regret. There was uh, a game in my own E where I thought the game was won, and I went and stood on an, an icicle uh, uh, because it was funny, and we ended up losing the game because of it. Right? And that is entirely my fault, and it's something that I look back on, and I think, ah, oh, that was really quite shit of me. You know, and I, and, and, only on a snowflake. I like I, I, ice flake. I mm. that. And you know, I imagine that Quickie Baby might well be the same way. You know, he might look back on some of the stuff that he's done, like every single person does, and just say, "Okay, that really wasn't my best moment. That was really quite shitty on me." I, I cheated in missions to attempt to get a tank that I had no right to get because I, I wasn't putting the time in that the rules said I had to get. I cheated. That is a that, that that's something that I consider morally reprehensible that I have done that I really am not proud of. I don't try to hide it or sweep it under the rug. It's part of me. It's something that I have done, and it's something that I can regret. Right? And and so when I bring up stuff that Quickie Baby has done, it's not to say, oh look, he's a horrible person. It's an example that everyone is fallible, and it was something that I've. I guess what I want to say that if you play enough games, if you play 36,000 games or whatever, at least one of them will have an example of you doing something that was... Barring <laughs> hash? Are you kidding God me? God damn. That was violent. Uh, 506, Brit. Seems legit to me. Uh, yeah, um... What was he... Uh, yeah, th this is the most alarming part for me. Yes, it does make you a bad person. Um, you think you will play fair against new players with this shitty setup? Um, no. I I don't. I it it's not fair. Some tanks are better than others. Some players are better than others. That's not fair. Welcome to life. Uh, I don't I don't understand what the point is here. You know, when you're playing uh, against a tier you. eight tank. When you're outnumbered against four or five enemy tanks, is that fair? No. But it's the game. Get over it. Like, I, I don't understand why that's such a, a big point that he's trying to make. Ah, oh, it's unfair. 
Yep. Hey, Sorry about that, I know, but you should. It's unfair at the top <laughs> tiers too. The fact that you can push the two key and pen and, and yeah. negate armor that people, you know. It's just the game. It's how it That's is. <laughs> wow. I may say something there. Okay. GG, Ian. <laughs> I might have sounded very critical on QB, but then again, I sound critical about everything. I'm like that. Yeah, that's Peabody is uh, kind of crusty. Yeah, I am. That's my job. I'm supposed to be the crusty old boss. Yeah, yeah, I, he is. I enjoy it. But, yeah, so. but uh, on the other side of it, though, is what I'm asking, maybe for clarity, what I'm saying is, like, I don't detest QB. And I and sometimes, you know, if I was still playing the game, I'd still go to his his channels to get content about tanks and things, because he is informative that way. Behind you, but, by you the know, way, well, I know, I'm okay. The combination of the continuous sort of the same thing, top <laughs> tanks all the time, and his content. And the God, that was unfair. I guess I'm a bad person. I've had enough of him. That's all. <laughs> Ian, <laughs> do you yes, consider what I just did morally reprehensible? <laughs> Uh, it's very wrong, you know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I see. Not liking life. Oh, come on, engine deck. Oh, oh. Did I get it? Oh, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yeah! <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> Holy jeez. <laughs> Never oh, fail. I try to make a point. He does something screen and everybody ignores him. I'm, I'm sorry, Peabody. <laughs> Uh, that sequence of gameplay was just legendary. I penned the tiger I know, it never pee. Fails too. It's always <laughs> when I'm flapping my gums. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Is this two six one looking my way? I mean two one six. Yeah, I'll behind you. Ah, I wanted to miss him and kill him. Um, yeah, I think this this is the mo the point here. It's the point that most invalidates everything that he's saying. Um, what, you can't be good at higher tiers, so you have to go to lower tiers just to be better than the rest. Um, that is not having fun. And I, I said this when I read it to the guys before I started the stream. Sorry, Sunshine, you do not get to decide what is fun for someone else just because it's not fun for you. Kindly stuff your arrogant nature back in your head and have some respect for other people. Like, that, that is the exact point of the video, right? People interpret fun and enjoyment in video games in vastly different ways. Like getting shot on by Artie, right? That might be fun for some people, not fun for me. Not fun for Steve. Steve does not enjoy that. <laughs> As he comes up on the street. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's one video that I always remember of QB when he rages against the Indian bumper, mm. and that was just for me it was hilarious. But yeah. on the other side of the coin, it wouldn't have been hilarious for the Indian bumper player. No, true. Um, like everyone rages. Yeah, I um, can sympathise like... with it. You know, it's just unfortunate that. You know, would someone like Quickie Baby, everything is scrutinised and everything is on stream. Uh, so it is... I mean, I guess it's a balance, right? Because it in life and... Yeah, in life in general, it it's kind of a scales. You know, the bad stuff that you do doesn't make the good stuff any less good, but the good stuff doesn't make the bad stuff any less bad. You know, and it's certainly a balancing act between those two things that will balance out to you being a, a respected person or... Well, actually, that's not the case at all because people are just going to uh, hate on you because <coughs> of whatever reason they come up with. But uh, it's part of the game and it's against the rules. Not against the rules, sorted. Yeah, Jigsaw Harlequin, it, this is a good point. Um, yeah. Yep. And, yeah, as I said, it's it's not fair, right? But life is... I, I'm not going to tread over that comment again. What I said earlier is perfectly apt to sum that up. Yeah, I, I think... Let me see if I... I want to okay. see if there's any point in this comment that I agree with. Go ahead, Peter. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, too. Another thing, and, the, and, uh, and, I, I'm, and I won't say it's just Quickie Baby. There's a lot of them out there. It's when you get these people that come along 
that they've got this mindset that this one particular person, it's like they're God. It's like if if they if that person was walking down, if uh, that particular streamer, we'll say Quickie Bay, was walking down the street, this particular fan would grab their mother and throw it over a puddle so the person could walk over there and get his feet wet for Christ's sake. It's like, get your freaking mind out of your asshole and look at the reality of things, you know? I'm sorry. Did you see how there's someone grabbing their mother and throwing them down in a puddle? And <laughs> the wiggy baby. <laughs> you know, but no, but that's, that, that's what I get, the impression I get this guy is like. And there's so many of them out there that, oh, he can't do no wrong and all this, and they come off on that. And, you know, and it's that mindset, and not only him, but, you know, and it comes over into, into anything gaming. You get these, these freaking little punks, no matter how old they are, that come off and think that they're fucking biggest shit on the pile, you know? And yeah, all I they're mean, actually doing is smelling because, you know, it's just, it's just it's what's wrong with a lot of games. And war game World of Tanks is one of them. It's like, you know, if a lot of these if a lot of these frickin' idiots like these that would turn their brains on and and, and, and pull and quit dipping them in the feces that comes out of their arse, they might come <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what the hell? I love it like when I talk all right, when I talk, we get uh, deep uh, echo, insights apparently. on morality and all that. And then Peabody talks, and we get mothers face down in puddles and feces. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, no, if you're going to be that single-minded, that's what I think of you. <laughs> I just love the dynamic between both of us. <laughs> But I'm not great at making words and, and forming statements. I'm, I'm horrible for that kind of thing. I use a lot of what I just well, said I mean, there, but I think you get the gist of it, you know? It's well, like, I mean, you're effective in that regard, you know. We we, we, we take your point quite well. Um, <laughs> just whether that <laughs> point could be conveyed without feces, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Well, it's like, the, you know, it's like you might as, like you're using your frickin', you know, I use those types of words because it's like that, it's like how you're being. You're, my, you're taking yourself and treating yourself like a pile of shit. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the only point I have on you with uh, this guy is um, the other idiot saying QB does not have a clue of what he was talking about. He is far more knowledgeable than any of you. At least he puts in the time to inform us of the different types of tanks. Now, we actually said this at the start of the video, if if you listened. Uh, uh, bye to this. Uh, <laughs> um, we literally... Fuck off, you stupid, ugly, motherfucking, stupid fuck not pigs. And he moans <laughs> that quickie baby for my chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The critical yeah. man is here. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> nice. I mean, well, nice. You just mm, weakened mm, our mm, argument mm, by about three, three tears, Tardis. Well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he says, it. so Tardis is back. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Tardis uh, is feeling better. <laughs> Voice is working yeah. well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Oh god. About the seal club this came before into oblivion. Oh god! Ow! Oh. Hey, you know, Steve, there's an evil part of me that would just love to get a hold of this guy and bring him into one of the games we play. You bring him into GTA <laughs> with us to piss him off. Uh, no, like, I, I try to. Like I said at the start, I wish he had conveyed this opinion in a more constructive and less foul mouthed manner. But, you know, I always try to respect other people's opinions, even if I think they're categorically wrong. Uh, because that's the entire point of my argument. You know, you should respect how other people interpret the world, even if it doesn't align with how you do. Um, and I think that's, that is very, very important to do. Yeah, I'm old, a lot older than Steven, and I'm a lot less tolerant of people. And when you come back, come back, come back, when you make comments like that, you really have you cannot provide any real proof or any validation of what you're saying and things. But as far as I'm concerned, you have shit for brains, and uh, you know, and so I treat you like you do. <laughs> yes. Um. 
Yeah, um, we use the word informative to describe Quickie Baby's content. That That is a good word for, I think, how we all feel about Quickie Baby. Um, he yeah. provides very useful, informative content on, on the world of tanks. It's not Indeed. my style of content. I don't particularly... Uh, I don't watch it for fun, let's say. But if there's a new tank that comes out and I want to know about it, yeah, I'll watch Quickie Baby because he's informative, he's concise, he's to the point, um, and I can get a lot of the information that I need very easily and quickly. And I find his his content is very good for that. Um, yeah, and uh, myself, I'd even go as far as somebody asks, come to, me, come to me and said, well, I'm a new player and things, but I want to learn about World of Tanks. So I'd say, well, go watch Quickie Baby, but be careful. Don't take his type of gameplay as the way to start the game to play it, because mm. he's very aggressive. Yeah, he is. He does have a very aggressive playstyle, and it doesn't blend well with uh, a lot of people, particularly when they're beginners. Um, but I, I don't see where this. I don't see where both of these things come from. I don't see where the unfettered H squad of QB comes on particularly i i find that that's unfounded and i don't i don't get the massive uh qb fan club either that think that he's uh abs the best player ever to play in world of tanks and he's this that and this and he's absolutely amazing and he de deserves all of your respect all the time for everything that he does i i respect the guy i appreciate the amount of work that he puts in to bring his channel and his uh, work to the uh, level that he it is, and to the point that he's got, he deserves a lot of respect for getting to where he is. Right? But that does not absolve him of further criticism um, if he does something uh, wrong or morally reprehensible. Uh, he is not above anything because of where he stands. He should be held to the same moral standards as everyone else. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what this is about. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is totally about, but Dar44 says, Wallace, you, you should follow an indignant beaver uh, yeah, uh, on Twitter. Don't screw up your damn thing. And oh, yes, his I have seen that. With his yeah. biggest fan in what? They may be still going on five days now. Mm. Yes, I, I've seen that. He uh, copied me in on the... Uh, although I don't understand Twitter, I have seen... His magical, mystical adventures. Oh no. Uh, but yeah. Um, I think, shall we put this topic to bed now, gents? Or are we... Uh, does anyone else have anything that they'd like to... Uh, oh, you know, I've already add? seen one request to put the QB topic to bed and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, But, you know, we're not saying you can't discuss it in chat. Just yep. keep it civil. Keep it civil, keep it constructive, try and learn something from other people's opinions, even if you don't agree with them. Um, yes. But the crew with me at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Your magical camo mod, Indignant Beaver, yes. Oh, God. Okay. So. Uh, that was uh, interesting, guys. Anyone want to pick a tank? Are we swapping Ian out for Chanis, or what are we doing? We'll go at, what, half four, I guess? Okay. That's half, technically half. Sounds yeah. good. We shall enjoy the time we have left with you, Fanta. Yeah, I'll, I'll thank <sighs> everyone for sticking about during that conversation. I know it's uh, a bit different from what we usually do, but uh, it, it's yeah. good to talk about uh, uh, issues that provoke opinions like this. It's one of the reasons that I don't, like, uh... I think Peabody disagrees with me quite a lot on this, but I don't uh, step on conversations in chat about uh, sex, religion, or politics immediately, because I know that... I think it's one of the most important things in the world, I, that conversations of that nature, that are naturally divisive, and that are naturally get people's blood pressure running high because people can get offended very easily, I think it's very important that you don't shy away from those conversations because the only way you're going to learn and adapt your opinions and, and better yourself in regard to your knowledge of them is to discuss them with people who have views that are differing from your own. If you just go around finding people who agree with your viewpoint, 
and back you up and just support your confirmation bias, all you're ever going to do is enforce your own beliefs. And only by trying hard to uh, interpret and discuss stuff with people who are going to challenge your beliefs and raise you on points in which your potentially your argument's weaker, are you going to be able to either strengthen your own argument or find out that you are actually mistaken and start believing in something else. It's like, and in my own defense, I won't say that I'm against it. It's just, a, it just a, you know, it all has to be done with a certain amount of, how can I say this, uh, the right uh, um, ingredients or content. Yeah, you know, yeah it's to, very easy to uh, yeah. let it yeah, get the out lines, of The lines are very, need to be very carefully oh. observed when you're talking about this stuff. And I come on down on Steve sometimes, something, but just because he, uh, he, some of the things that come out of his mouth, you know, it, it, it could be somebody's... The way I look at it, it could be some guy that's never seen the stream before, and he said, oh, well, this guy looks like a good, oh, and my son likes to play World of Tanks, but his son's like five years older, they play together, and all of a sudden they drop in here, and the next thing you know, we got conversation going on where, where the guy is like grabbing his friggin' speakers and throwing them across the room so his son doesn't hear oh. it or something, you know? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. You know, that's where, that's why I come down on Steve sometimes, is because we don't, we don't boast a PG 18 here, or whatever the hell you call the damn thing. So, I mean, it, like 18. It's like, oh, yeah. okay, thank you very much. Sour cream for the follow, much appreciated. This this is a dangerous one to raise, but I'm gonna raise it because of. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> oh, not one. Oh, 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 Christ! <laughs> oh. No, 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 that was the completely VK worth it, Ian. Look, look at how many likes this YouTube video has got. 100% worth it. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Ian blapped that guy and it got blapped himself. <laughs> that man has been seriously blapped. Holy hell. <laughs> Yeah, I, I grew up in a devoutly Christian household, I, and I, I, I thank the God that I no longer believe in for my upbringing, I, because I was blessed to uh, grow up in a household of the most accepting and loving people and loving Christians that I have ever known, and I believe that they exemplify and they set such a, a phenomenal example of what Christianity means that it's just incredible. Uh, I am accepted in my household not being a Christian, being a transvestite, uh, having all these things that are odd and are weird with my sexuality and I'm accepted and I'm encouraged to explore myself and who I am and genuinely and support. Arty, I am not camping. Now bugger <laughs> off. <laughs> and I, I think that's absolutely wonderful. And I, I thank my lucky stars for where I was pulling up. But I was indoctrinated. I consider myself to have been um, a symptom of the church with regards to a lot of my opinions. Um, you know what, mate? Um. Yeah, I believed for quite a while that abortion was categorically wrong. And it was only through discussing it with people who uh, had different opinions that I discovered that actually my beliefs were unfounded. They were misguided and not explored. And I believe that abortion was wrong due to some misguided sense of Oh, oh, that's life, and you can't know the potential of a life that hasn't, hasn't been lived yet. Uh, and, you know, I still stand by that to a certain extent, but you've... It's about respecting the body of people who are going to carry the baby for nine months and their choice. And, you know, my argument... It's still a difficult subject for me because, on the one hand... Uh, with the Christian doctrine being the way it is, my dad's argument would be, and I, I agree with him on this, although coming from me it's not a Christian standpoint so much as it is just a logic standpoint, um, his interpretation is that 
sex should be more important in society than it is considered today. You see sex everywhere on billboards because sex sells. I attractive women everywhere in their undergarments showed off and you know our generation today is very sexually active and educated, right? Um, and I think sex is a lot I'd say, less. I'd, I'd say I'd say active, but not for not educated enough. Maybe so, in my, yeah. In my yeah. opinion, um, I I think that uh, sex between young people is a lot less found on today than it would have been uh, a while ago, and I think through societies. Uh, depiction of sex in the current climate, climate uh, it leads to a lot more unwanted and unexpected pregnancies in areas, in situations where the baby just could not be cared for, in situations where it would not be supported and it would not be uh, a suitable environment for a baby to be raised or grown up. Um, and in that circumstance, the the point of view that I kind of agree with my dad on is that people should just be more responsible and far more careful with uh, having unprotected sex. You know, accidents do happen, and that is unfortunate. But I mean, I think I think my dad's point right, is that. You should not have unprotected sex if you are not prepared for the potential consequences. If you are not in a situation where you could raise and care for a potential child, then you should not have unprotected sex. That is his opinion, and yeah, I, I can I can see where it comes from, and I support I I do agree with that ideal. Uh, if you are not ready for the potential consequences. I, I think abortion shouldn't be just a get out of jail free card. It, it shouldn't be just, oh, I've had unprotected sex, what a shame, I'll just go and abort this baby, you know. I, I, don't, I don't like that as a reason for an abortion. If the baby is not going to be cared for and it's going to cause such stress on the mother... Condom, for fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's going to put the mother in a position where she is going to be severely mentally or physically damaged by having the baby, yeah, I absolutely support her right to uh, terminate that pregnancy because of that reason. But as far as terminating it just for convenience or just because you made a stupid decision, uh, uh, it becomes more questionable in my mind. Be, definitely be responsible, Jesus. Mm. Yeah. I mean, may, and, may, and, and, I light, may I lighten this this uh, conversation up a little? Bit? Sure. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna tell you, 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 you lost one, Stephen. We lost the viewer. <laughs> oh, really? What happened? <laughs> a, 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 somebody, an Amish hitman, 73, came in and said, "What the hell have I joined during your abortion <laughs> conversation?" <laughs> <laughs> the one moment a new an viewer hitman. joins and I have to be talking about bloody abortion. Whose idea was this? <laughs> an Amish hitman. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, so you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's classic opinion, timing, if you ask yeah. me. <laughs> yes, indeed. Like I say, I don't want to shy away from conversations like these because they are important and sharing my opinion is important. If you disagree with it, disagree with it, but do it in a constructive manner. Tell me why, tell me for what reason you disagree with me and I'll try and interpret and learn from your opinion as best I can and I will try and have an open mind. Mm. Yeah. Or then, or then I come along and, and there is no respect. <laughs> yeah, Peabody comes along and pushes mothers down face first in puddles and walks over them. <laughs> exactly. No, <laughs> definitely, 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 definitely no Eden. Oh. Oh. These might too exactly the same. Mm. Hey, 11 months in a row for Pear. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for supporting what I do and what I want to do with my life. I genuinely appreciate you. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> See, this is difficult. I right? while while we were discussing uh, Quiggy Baby and all that, I had a ridiculous RNG, right? Where I pinned the weak spot of a Tiger P with HE, and I pinned a Panther. How am I going to use that in a video? <laughs> no audio. <laughs> Just no audio. mute it. Look how amazing yeah, this it. RNG is. <laughs> we weren't talking about Just anything. Ma ma Why you, you ask? Make a cinematic of this. <laughs> Uh -huh. it, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> guess we should talk about more of these subjects, I guess, and maybe we get better mm. RNG. Yeah, 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 maybe maybe that's it. Yeah. Talk about QB and you're blessed with RNG. Oh, come on, let's kill that Could be a whole new yeah, conversation I, I, now. I know, we went from QB to abortions, alright, I don't know. <laughs> oh, just... God, <laughs> I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds did. much it's, worse it's, it's, when you say it like that, people. You know? there's, there's something related, you know? Quickie, baby, abortion. Uh, oh, come on. oh, no! No, no! No! Okay. Oh, Enough! 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 Stop right there! Cut! Put the brakes on! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, damn it, you've doomed us all. We've broken Tardis. That's it, we've broken Tardis. <laughs> I'll take this one. Blame, blame me for this one if you want. That's Tardis, you cocked up Tardis. Wow. <laughs>